everybody, it's Brandy. I'm going to come back and share another project with you, but this time I'm going to try to do some video editing and take you through the process of my next project. So this is a jewelry box I found at a garage sale a while back, and I wanted to alter it for my daughter, and I just haven't gotten to it, but I want to do it for her birthday. So this is what the before looks like. I'm going to start by taking a screwdriver to it and removing all the hardware on the drawers and everything. I'm going to clean out all of the stuff on, in the drawers and get rid of the, the pink, I think. I'm going to take out this gold um, necklace thing for now. And I'm going to change the inside a little bit. Um, I will be back after I sand it and get it all the hardware taken off. Alright, here's the next step. I have disassembled. There I am my jewelry box and sanded it down and I'm going to get ready to paint it and I've taped off like the mirror, the inside of the lining and everything and I put all of my, and I sanded the doors, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with those yet and I put all my stuff in a little Tupperware container so I don't lose it. So this is the next step, I'll be back once it's all primed back with my now gessoed jewelry box. I just did an off-brand of gesso that I got at Michael's a while back. Just used a cheap like flat-edged brush and I've done two coats and I sanded between the gesso. This brand of gesso happens to be really thick so I did add some water to water it down so I got a little bit more even coverage. But that's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Um, I am now going to let it dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to start prepping my design. Um, my daughter really loves flowers, so I am going to use this paper collection by Graphic 45. I've used it before on multiple projects. It is very floral and pretty, and so I think I'm going to um, fussy cut out some of the flowers, cut out the little girl, um, I don't have a ton of it left. Let's see if I can. I don't have a ton of it left, um, but I want to see how many projects I can get out of it. I have a bunch of scraps, so I'm gonna cut some leaves, cut some of the things, and use some of the papers and stuff to cover my my jewelry box. I will be back um, after I've done some fussy cutting. Probably done another layer of um, gesso, and I will show you where I'm at then. Alright, be back soon. It's Brandy back with another update on my altered jewelry box. I have painted it uh, with a white acrylic paint. And I also took a gold dauber and distressed some of the edges. And I am slowly covering it with paper. And here's the drawer. Just has paper there. And on the sides, I'm using the Secret Garden Collection by Graphic 45. I'm just measuring and cutting <laughs> lots of tiny teeny little pieces but I'm loving the way it's coming out and let's see if I can get the big piece in here so I got all the inside covered got the top covered spin it around for you and I got the large piece on the back I still have to embellish it and finish it up but it's coming along and I will show a finished product. I am also working on making some paper flowers <clears throat> like this. This is my large flower. Make some smaller flowers going around and I'm going to do the whole top in flowers. Uh, my flowers, I am using this Tim Holtz dye. It's the Tattered Florals by Tim Holtz. Zoom. Eh, sort of. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. The gold paint that I used was this dauber. It was the Adirondack gold dauber. And the white paint I used was this one. It was it's vanilla by Craftsmart. I did do several coats of 
um, gesso underneath before I did my flannel top coat and I did sand in between my layers so that I've had my nice smooth top. Um, for all my metal stuff I am going to gold them up with some gold um, Adirondack alcohol ink and then I have just a solution that goes with it. I will update you guys again when I get more of it done. Alright, bye! Hi, it's Brandy. Just coming back to share the final product of my altered jewelry box. This is what it looks like. It's kind of big so it's a little hard to film. So I'm doing it by hand. Hopefully it's not too shaky. Alright, so here's that. Here's the front. Alright. see. Let's move it in a little closer. Okay, so on the drawers, we'll start here. We'll go bottom to top. On the drawers, I took the, <clears throat> the metal pieces that came with it and I just alcohol inked them with the Adirondack alcohol ink. It looks like this. In gold by Ranger and Tim Holtz. And to make them blend a little bit better, they were a little darker in the original jewelry box. On the front, on all of like the little cutouts of on the jewelry box, I added paper from the collection, and then this is just a metal piece that I alcohol ink and added a pearl to. And the drawers come out. I did leave the lining pink because it went with the paper collection, and I did cover bottom, side, and the sides here as well with the paper. All of the paper is inked with um, Tim Holtz Distressed Ink in old paper. It looks like this. And I just use an ink blending tool. Alright, so that's drawer number one. The second drawer is the same thing. Um, it's got the paper and the gold. Uh, and the gold. All the gold that's on the white paint. Uh, the gold dauber by Adirondack. Is that? It's the acrylic one. <clears throat> and then the actual paint that I painted the jewelry box with is this vanilla by Craftsmart. And of course it's not focusing. But it says vanilla, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> and then on the inside bottom section, I did paper all four walls, and there's paper up here just to finish it off. Even though I know no one can see it, I know it's there. So then we move up to the doors. The original doors were glass, and I was like, well, I'm giving this to my almost two-year-old daughter. She loves flowers. She loves jewelry. Um, glass just didn't seem like a good idea. I intended to save the glass, but I was doing something else in my craft room and I accidentally dropped it, so I guess it's good that I planned on it. So all this is is a piece of chipboard that I covered in paper, um, just like you would do a wrapped cover for a scrapbook. I just wrapped it and then I added this strip with the punch. The punch I use, I think it's this Recollections punch. I don't think it has a name, but that's what it looks like. I will see. I don't think it has a name on it. Nope, it's just recollections, and it's like a floor, like a flourishy kind of scallopy thing. I don't know. This cutout is from the paper collection, and I just mounted it on two different pieces of cardstock. These are the original pulls. I just alcohol ink them. They do open. It is a little harder to open because I did paint it, but it's not too bad. I do have paper in the back covering the mirror because it's very hard to film with the mirror coming back at me. So I just put paper up here, and then I did re-put the necklace hanger on there, and then it's got the magnet back on there. And then these are the doors. Oops, you can see my dirty craft room. And then that's the doors. I did, just like I did, I wrapped it in cream cardstock, and then put the, the pink on the other side and the green on this side. And this door matches. Like that. Okay. And let me close these. And then I kept the sides pretty simple. I didn't want to do too much because I figured it's going to be on a dresser and stuff and I don't want anything to get squished on the sides when she's putting it with all of her other stuff. So it's just that same punch down here in the paper. And then again, I took the little cut apart from the collection and put it on and I did the violets because the background was purple. All right, and then we move on to the back. Let's see if I can zoom back out. Give me one second. All right, this is the back. I took the signature paper from Secret Garden and cut it down to fit the back. And then I'll move in. And then on the very bottom down here, I added this piece of paper. It had like this goldish vintage look to it, and I loved it. It was subtle enough that it didn't take away from everything else. On the very bottom here, there is underneath this lace, there is a piece of gold ribbon. I just needed to cover up just a little bit, and it just adds that like hint of gold. 
And then I did this piece of lace that goes all the way across, and then I fussy cut these two roses and this rosebud out of the paper collection and these leaves. Just out of one of the papers. And then this is the signature paper. I just laid it right on top. And then up at the top, I had these silver cor metal corners, and I uh, alcohol inked them to be gold with the same alcohol ink I used for all of the other metal. Okay. And then the other side is exactly the same as the, the first side. Just the purple and blue with the violets. And then we go all the way up at the top. Up here, okay. Up here, I made a flower cluster with, um, I cut all of them out of the, uh, the, the different colors of the paper collection. And I used the Tim Holtz um, die. It's this one. It's the Alterations uh, Tattered Flourishes. And I used that, um, and I also used his, um, the Alterations Tattered Leaves for these large leaves. And then for the small, like, little leaves that are back here, I think this is, yeah, this is a Sizzix branch with leaves. And it just looks like this. It cuts out in this whole thing. I just cut, like, where these, like, little intersections are. I just cut them all apart and used what I needed where I needed it to fill in. Okay, so... This is made out of the largest flower from that dye. This is made out of like the daisy looking flower from that dye. This is made out of the medium and this is made out of the small. I did, I think, three layers of each. So. And then I just tucked more of that gold ribbon in on two places. And then back here is a little cut apart from like the one of the post-its that I curled and wrinkled up with um, distress ink in my fingers. Uh, from the collection. There's another small purple flower back here. There's another red, or, yeah, like pinkish tone. This orange flower is not from this paper collection. I had used all the oranges and blues in other projects. But the nice thing about Graphic 45 is a lot of their collections match, so this is actually from A Lady's Diary. And then I have a gold key under here. I also alcohol inked that. And then I just put flatback pearls in all of my flowers. And then there's a little butterfly from Martha Stewart Punch. And I just put like an orangish peachy pearl that matched that. So that is my altered jewelry box. I hope you liked it. Um, I had a blast making it and I'm sure my daughter will hopefully love it and cherish it. She does love flowers and she does love jewelry. Um, and her birthday is next week. So I will see you guys soon and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!